Boom! Welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange. This is Stranger Palooza. We're at Sunshine State RVs. Nick, yes, sir. what's Beautiful up? Beautiful Gainesville, Florida. Absolutely. And today we're giving people something special, right? Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, everything you want to know about the Winnebago Solus line, How right? How to Solus, yes. How to Solus. Everything, all the details you need, all the options. We're going to go through every single one. There's every a lot, one. probably. There is. I mean, we're, we're going to go through three different RVs, uh -huh. all on the ProMaster floor plan, and all three of them are Winnebago Solaces, but they look so different. Yeah. And there's different sizes, different colors, different makes. Yeah. It's kind of like... You can make you it know, your own. It's kind of like us, you know? I'm yeah. like tall and slender, right. and you're kind of... You know, robust Super and dark and, skin. I'm and light skinny. skin. You know, it's kind of like this here. There's yeah. all these different solaces. Yes. Now, just like us, the Winnebago Solus is amongst the most popular at, on the Winnebago lot. I wonder right? where you're going yeah. with that. Yes. Yes. So I think, what is it? The Solus and the Travada? You didn't know where so I was going? I was going. not know where you are going with that. Just like us. This could go mean? anywhere. So yes. Yeah. So the Winnebago uh -huh. Solus is a very affordable, great entry level, lots of flexibility. It really does have a lot of the features that Winnebago is shooting for when, when it comes to adventure, off-road, traditional RVing, non-traditional RVing, full timing, mm -hmm. you know, weekend warrior type stuff so yeah. there's a solace for everybody there you go there's a solace for everyone let's get all into it right now hey everyone a new vanasaur t-shirt design is out just in time for the winter season it's called winter camping fun even here in the sunshine state it feels a lot like winter if you're a fan of outdoor life then this is a great way to give someone you care about a gift or get something for yourself and support this channel at the same time all you have to do is follow the link here on youtube just below the video description to the stranger palooza store where you will find this winter camping fun design and other fun cool stranger palooza gear all right nick you are the mc Oh geez, don't MC don't, Nikki D. Don't give me that title. Um, <laughs> All right. So this is one of the the few windy days here in Florida. So there is there is a lot of wind today. Oh yeah, today. my shirt's about to blow. Your away. shirt is about to blow away. So this is a very uh, beautiful day today. We are in Gainesville at Sunshine State RVs. We're the number one class D class B dealer in the state of Florida, number three in the whole United States. So pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. um, Winnebago. We 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 sell all all the Winnebagos. Love the Winnebago product. We are a Flying W dealer as well, Hank. Okay, There's only two w. of those in Florida. Out of all the RV dealers, there's only two Flying W dealers, and they chose us to be one of them. Wow, so, congratulations. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Okay, we actually cool. won the award. Um, yes. So, Solus. So, they have three different Soluses, mm -hmm. three different floor, three different size ProMaster chassis. So, you start with the biggest, which is this one right here. Uh -huh. This okay. is the PX. So PX okay. is the longest. It's 20 feet, 11 inches. Oh. Um, it comes optional with that pop top or not. Nice. Um, later on in this video, we're going to kind of do a little walkthrough of this particular one. So we'll mm -hmm. pop the pop top up and show you everything on, on the inside of it. Mm -hmm. But this is the 20 foot 11 version. This is, if you notice, with the new headlights, yep. the 2023 chassis. Yep. So it has all the safety features, new headlights, new wheels. 10 inch screen, nine speed transmission, push button start, everything that a ProMaster has on it, this has, right? And this is Gator Orange, right? Yeah, I know, that's the cool thing about this. So is this a limited color? So this is called Winnebago? Spitfire Orange. Okay. Being here in Gainesville, Florida, my daughter's a Florida Gator, we're big Florida Gator fans that, uh, I like to call this Gator Orange. You know, okay. orange and blue, Florida Gators. Yep. One of the I best football it. teams of the last 100 years. Okay, that I'm no. not, I can't endorse that. Maybe I'm not gonna, this year, but in the last hundred. I don't know anything about years. sports, so I, I'll just believe whatever you say. Okay, so this is Spitfire uh -huh. Orange, really cool uh -huh. color. I like the black. The orange is bright. It pops. Yeah, it, it is, looks good. It's sharp, isn't it? Yeah, this was at uh, something like this was at Tampa show. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So it's, it's this is actually the one. So so they only made one. This was the one that was at Tampa. This is the one that's here. This is this is their like very limited edition Spitfire orange color. Cool. You know it's cool. Winnebago offers like a bright red. Check out this gray color we just got in today. Yeah. 
Oh, like that's, check out my shirt. Oh, your floor. shirt did fly away. I'm gonna hide. I'm gonna hide this shirt in. Oh, the thing actually caught it. Actually, so so that's oh, like a cool gray color there. This just came in. I just saw the guy bring this off the truck. Just came in today. It's a okay. uh, GL, I think. Is that yeah. a GL or a KL? So like it comes in, and it's then you guys have to inspect them, right? Well, I mean, look how filthy it is. There's yeah, like stuff all over change. the seats. Got my shirt now. I mean, this is this is a uh -huh. really cool, unique color. We haven't had one of these either. So, you know, Winnebago is one of the only ones that does kind of venture out in colors, which is pretty yeah. cool. A lot of vans, you pretty much get like what, white and silver? Yeah, white, silver, gray, okay. black, mm -hmm. you know, but Spitfire orange. That's cool. Very neat. We're gonna move on to the next size. So 20 feet, 10 inches. Okay. This one is about 19 feet. Oh. So this is the P, so okay. PX. This is the Solus P. So this is 19 feet. What does the P stand for? P stands for a very um, pleasant van. Okay, all right. I have no idea. Yeah, okay. PX. So P, PX. P, yeah. and then the next one's the Pocket, which I'll show you that in a second. Mm -hmm. So this comes optional with the pop top or not. Okay. Um, this one does not have a pop top, which some people prefer because they like the floor plan, they like the size, and they're like, eh, I have no use for a pop top. So yeah. you can get it, same with the PX, you can get yeah. it with or without the So pop the National Park Foundation, so we did a video on this, a full video if anyone wants to did. see that. We did, we yeah. did a video on the National very Park. Very cool. This is a very limited edition as well. Yeah. Um, the other side's open, you want to peek inside real sure. quick? Sure, and these are all 2023 ones. All here, on right? a new chassis, yeah. uh, new, new, new everything. I mean, this is, this, you know, what, what really makes this unique is you got the two seats there, you got the bench yeah, there. I love with these, yeah. Three point seat belts. Let's let the light adjust, there you go, yeah. So, so all so this is the new chassis on the inside. This is the new chassis, nice cool fridge. Yeah. Nice graphics, wheels, and then and then even even in the back here it has the Murphy bed hang. With these okay. with the remember these trays we did the video yeah, on. That's what I like about these the most, man. So we got these these really cool trays that are here that yeah. kind of lift up and you yeah, know you you put a, a stove. Cool Thing, like all this cool stuff so mm -hmm. lots of cool stuff this is one of the things that the Solus does give you mm -hmm. is lots of flexibility lots yeah. of lots of different options for how, how you're gonna use it what you're gonna do with it um, but this is the Murphy bed option on the P so this is the 19 foot P okay the front one was 20 feet okay. 11 inches now this is the pocket so this is like the baby bear, mama bear, papa bear version. Oh, I see. Okay. Kind of like Goldilocks, you know that old fairy right. tale. Yep, 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 Goldilocks, yep. the three bears. I know it well. Mama bear, yeah. papa bear. The porridge is not. This one's too porridge. hot. Yes. Too cold. <laughs> Funny story. Know. My wife is Spanish, so mm -hmm. so she sprinkles in a little Spanish to our kids here and there. Not a ton, mm -hmm. but a little bit. And so oatmeal is avena in Spanish. Ah, okay. And so my son's whole life, he's 12, she's always said, would you like avena, would you like avena? So the other day I said, hey, Andrew, would you like some oatmeal? He's like, ugh, what's that? <laughs> I said, what do you mean, you eat it every morning? He's like, no, I eat avena every morning, I don't eat oatmeal. <laughs> so it reminded me of the porridge okay. and the- You gotta food. translate it for them. Dude, you know? But I got, this one is small, yeah, so- I got bilingual is, children. So how many 17 feet? feet. 17, okay. 17 feet, mm -hmm. Zola's pocket, this is the smallest Class B on the market. Oh, okay. Absolute smallest. This has the same Murphy bed here. Mm -hmm. So that bed kind of folds down. You have this under area here. You still got water. You still got all this cool stuff. Yeah. But That's we've cool. done a video on this pocket. Yeah. Remember, our wives were in the video. That's Remember right. We got all here. Look at this. Right. We'll bring back some the flash. wives were up in that one, and we did all the magic. Bring back some uh, flashbacks here. Yeah. We had the, the two chairs. Right. All the different a couch, combos. A twin bed. <laughs> turns uh, into well. a love seat. Yeah. Okay, cool. So this is the pocket. So you got the 17 foot pocket. Mm -hmm. No pop top at all optional. Oh, the, so that you can never get a pop you top. You can never with that. get a okay. pop top on the pocket. Okay. You got the 19 foot P, which this mm -hmm. is the national park. So there's some cool options. Yeah. And this one does not have a pop top. Mm -hmm. You can get a pop top. So like, Maybe, uh, I don't know if this is, is this a P? No, this is another PX. Yeah. So you can get a pop top on that mm -hmm. or no pop top, whichever you prefer. Okay. Um, but, but what's really cool, no matter what you get on this one here, you're mm -hmm. always gonna have that, that bench there with those seat belts on it. So you can seat four. Yeah, you can seat four. And with the pop top, you can sleep four also. Yeah. So you can sleep four, two up there, and two down four. below, and you can seat four down below in a 20 foot RV. 
How yeah. crazy is that? That's pretty cool. Oh, sorry, this is 19. 19, 19. 19. 19 very Florida maneuverable, me. park it in a regular yeah. parking spot. So very. And, and then you have all the new tech from the new chassis. Yeah. New push button star, 19 yeah. transmission, safety features, mm -hmm. all that stuff. But today, kind of the one that we're, let me turn this off. The okay. one that we're focusing on, today, today the one that we're focusing on is going to be this PX. Okay. Because I absolutely love the color. Look at that, yeah. The flexibility, the floor plan, the everything. I mean, this 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 PX, like there's there's nothing else on the market like it. So once that you guys sell this one here, if people want this, they're gonna have to wrap it or something. You know, no, I mean it, it's a limited. I think we can order. Okay. I think Winnebago got a handful of them that we can, oh, you can. order. I haven't dug too much into it. Okay. They typically don't do one offs, but I can get mm -hmm. you an answer on that. Okay. I, I mean, check out this black stripe. I love it. Yeah, it's got pinstriping. I mean, uh, I just like how it's it's black. It's yeah. orange. You know, the bottom. Yeah. They purposely didn't paint that to kind of do that same thing. But yeah, the, you know, if you're like a Cincinnati the, Bengals the, fan, oh yeah, any any Cincinnati Bengals fans in the house? Okay. Joe Burrow, you know Joe Cool, uh, okay. you know, almost I'll made the Super Bowl saying. again. <laughs> he made the Super Bowl last year. Oh okay. This year he didn't make it. Um, oh, okay. So really cool. You want to walk on the outside then jump in? Yeah, let's go from the outside. I like how uh, the pop top really blends into this, and it goes to the back, and then there's kind of like a space left right there for the. Uh, for the AC, but it doesn't, uh, you know, it just goes along with the form and everything of it. So. You know, these these are cool because if if you don't need the pop top, let's just say you only need it 10% of the time, mm -hmm. then I would still get it mm -hmm. because it makes no difference. It doesn't change anything having mm -hmm. the pop top there. It doesn't yeah. change the way it drives, doesn't change the way it feels, yeah. it doesn't mm -hmm. change anything inside. It's the exact same RV through their pop top or no pop top. Yeah, so I'm a fan of a pop it, top though now. Would you sleep up there or would you make Lola sleep up there? Uh, no, I would go up there. You pop would. tops are nice, yeah. You think Lola would sleep underneath you. you in a pop top? Yeah, sure, why not? She would like the pop I don't top. Oh, dude, that takes a lot of faith. She sleep. likes it now. Well, you think I'm going to crush her? I'm just saying. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I, I, you know. At this point, she's crush proof. <laughs> um, so. <laughs> you have to be to roll with me. <laughs> Soulless PX. <laughs> right. Um, new headlights, new grill, yeah. new front end. Um, yeah. I also like these are the. These are the wheels that come with the new front end. It's a really um, neat. I like these upgraded wheels. Yeah. Um, I think the black, typically I like this painted. Mm -hmm. I don't like the cladding on it. I it works here. I typically like it painted, but I think with this look here, yeah, it looks good. it's look sharp. That. If it was all orange, it might look like a, like a pumpkin. Yeah. Um, but being that it's, being that there's, you know, the bumpers kind of set it off. It kind of yeah. has that cool look. It's nice and sporty. Who's the princess that rode in on the pumpkin to the with the shoe? Uh, Cinderella. Cinderella might yeah. be Cinderella's carriage or yeah. pumpkin. You know. Yeah. 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 Oh. Very nice. Yeah. No, this is looks good, and you know this is not really pumpkin colored. It's like a reddish I orange. Know. It is. It's called reddish. Spitfire. Spitfire. So fire. Fire. It is orange. Spitfire orange yeah. is what. I it's even called. like how the Winnebago right there all is blacked is out. blacked out. That's really nice. It all. And this, I'm guessing, doesn't have a black tank because nope. it has a cassette toilet. Is that all? Are all the Solus so like that? Every Solus is like that. Yes. Oh, okay. it's just locked. No, no, it's not. There you go. Oh, so okay. every Solus is like this. Black tank. This is brand new, so I would eat out of it. Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I would. I doubt it. You don't believe me? Uh, don't do it. Don't do it's it. It's brand new. No one's ever used it. Don't do it. You only can there drink. There might be some chemicals in there. <laughs> Probably I would, not, but oh, yeah. there's something in it. There is something. Okay. Oh my goodness. You're welcome. I saved you. <laughs> you saved my life. Anyways, that's a cassette. So the toilet is right above it, and then the the stuff from the toilet goes into there. Yeah. Hopefully they were just You were that kid when you were a kid, man. You were that kid that was always... Living on the edge. Yeah, couldn't dare you. Couldn't double dog dare you to do anything. Oh, I would do anything. Um, yeah. mm -hmm. So, really cool. You know, people ask, why in the world would I want a cassette toilet, right? Like, mm -hmm. I mean, people actually ask that. Yeah. To which I tell them the flexibility mm -hmm. to where you don't have to have a dump station. Mm -hmm. You can just pull this out and you can do anything you want with it. Take it into a friend's house. Uh, you can dig uh, a hole. Like those outside bathrooms. Yep. You, yeah. the, a lot of flexibility with that. You have to really bend down sometimes mm -hmm. to take the, the, the hose out and hook all that up. Mm -hmm. With this, you don't really have to do any of that. Okay. And so people like things that are waist high. Mm -hmm. So, you know, being that this is waist high, you just pull it yep. out. Take it where you want it, dump yep. it, and then just pick it up and put it right back in. Yep. So, lots of cool flexibility when it comes to a cassette 
And that gives you more room on the inside, right? Because they don't have to put the plumbing and everything in for that. You get a little bit more room on the inside. If this was me, I would probably use it, and I just throw this away every time I was buying new cassette toys. No, I don't, yeah, it's really <laughs> that's gonna be real expensive, real fast. Is it? Yeah. Well, maybe yeah. I wouldn't do that. Then. But you could have an extra one. Or, or so if you're out and you know that one gets filled up, you could take it out, seal it up, put another one in just there. Throw it away, just buy yeah. another one. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you can wash them out and clean them. Oh. You know they're made of a good plastic. So every video I talk about these smart mm -hmm. plugs. Mm -hmm. This is Furion. This is a different company, but I like how there's a light, mm -hmm. so you know when it is on. It's in there and it's on. This is a this is a screw plug. So you go in there, you screw it, mm -hmm. and it locks in there. So it is real important. Mm -hmm. You know when whenever someone buys an RV from Sunshine State RVs, we we give a really really thorough walkthrough. If you read mm -hmm. our reviews, you'll see everyone talks about how great our walkthrough is, right? Mm -hmm. And so we teach you how to use the entire RV and one of the very very important things that we teach you is how to plug your RV in. Okay. It seems it seems kind of like a hey my, uh, my 10 year old charges his phone every yeah. or iPad every night. They know how to plug things it in, right? It should be elementary. <laughs> it seems elementary. It's yes. not elementary. <laughs> so many people barely plug it in uh -huh. and then they cause problems with with shorting out and arcing and issues at the campground, issues mm -hmm. here. They don't plug it in the campground all the way. So it's so important. That's why we when we when we teach someone how to use an RV here, mm -hmm. we spend as much time with you as you need teaching people how to use their RV. And then what's cool, Hank, is we put you up at a campground for two nights. Yep. So that way you could test the RV and do all that. I heard about that. How was your camping experience here, I, It never happened for me. Why but, not? You know, I'll, I'm, I'm looking forward to doing it soon. <laughs> Hank bought his RV from us yeah. the week before we started right. the campground feature, uh -huh. so he uh -huh. never got to camp, and he's so yeah. bitter about it. I'll be camping out at the Ocala oh, RV yeah. show, which is coming up, which the, we can mention. The yeah. Beyond Rally, and at the American Coach Rally. Yes, and Matt, after that, there'll be American about Coach one. you, Midwest Automotive, yeah. American Coach, having a big rally in Ocala. The very next week after that, so. So very cool. So, yep. around the outside, this is the back of it. This is where I think makes Solus kind of, you know, not kind of, this is what makes Solus very unique, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So, both doors are open, and I'll touch on this first, and oh, then okay. we'll move on. So, this is a thing. Like a shower rod kind, kind of, of So Privacy. Yes. So, privacy mm -hmm. and lots of other really cool things. So, you have a little pin here. The pin, hold, pin holds it in, mm -hmm. and it's closed. So, they give you a drape that you can drape here. Mm -hmm. So, that drape, you can grab the hot water you can grab it there let's see if we got a hose here somewhere so check this out people always ask how do you use this rv what's mm -hmm. the point of all this stuff so here you, you plug it in there just like that you grab this you have your drape mm -hmm. you get down in your birthday suit and you can take a shower shower yourself <laughs> off yeah shower everything off mm -hmm. fully clothed or not mm -hmm. you know wash the sand off if you just came back from how the cool is that whatever. yeah it's good i mean this that is so sense close it's easy it's here what else is cool is if you have a, a mountain bike let's say you just got to a mountain biking mm -hmm. you pull your bike up you want to rinse your bike off real quick dry it off and you can put it right here so there's these little racks so there's three of them there one there one in the middle oh. one oh there's four one okay, on top yeah, there so that you can lock everything down so you know, there there yeah there and then way up top there yep. four four different across. racks on both sides and yeah. you can and you can tie things they make a lot of what are these called ram tracks or something i think they're ram tracks yeah. some like a like a track system and then these things here you can move you can get as many as you need and they're they're actually pretty neat check yeah. that out mm -hmm. no that's cool so real unique nobody else that that we deal with uses stuff like this there you go so you see mm -hmm. the hook things on it mm -hmm. safety security when you're driving mm -hmm. when you're just camping but i really like this flexibility mm -hmm. you know solace winnebago in general puts their water inside the coach to keep it from being outside to mm -hmm. give you more access to all the seasons. So I like how when it's inside the coach, not being outside is going to give you more capability. So mm -hmm. yes, yeah, some people always ask, do I have to have my doors open? Uh, just fill your tanks up. You don't need your doors open, but this is mm -hmm. nice because this is where you fill it, the city water. Yeah, it's going to last you a little while when it's full. And, yeah, it is, yeah. it is. Mm -hmm. But I really like having this shower thing. You, you can hose anything, kayaks, stand up mm -hmm. paddle boards, bikes whatever it is you do you hose it off put it in here and you can find your way of securing you know winnebago just came out with an adventure wagon have you seen those uh yes i did what we do you think about, about it? a video i think they're really cool you get in uh 
getting that in? We are, we are. We're, okay. We're we gonna do something when that comes in. Yeah, we just ordered our first uh, few adventure wagons. Okay. <laughs> and uh, yeah, pretty excited, but yeah. this is the adventure wagon concept that the whole RV at the adventure yeah. wagon is gonna be like this. So most people are boondocking in these these days, I think, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. most people are. I mean, you can boondock mm -hmm. this. This has an Onan generator. Mm -hmm. This has the air conditioner, or, mm -hmm. or you can plug in a 30 amp shore power. Mm -hmm. But I like, I like how what everything you can do here. There's so yeah. much. There's a lot of storage. Storage. Here. There's 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 a lot of flexibility, and I like how durable this floor is. Mm -hmm. You don't feel bad riding your bike in here. You don't feel right. bad throwing skis. Okay, imagine dirty. imagine mm -hmm. having skis here, mm -hmm. having them hang up there. So look. So when you're done with this, put it down there. Click it in. Put it there. Hundred percent out of the way. Hundred percent out of the way. Yeah. So you know skis. I'm about to take my family skiing in a couple weeks. Mm -hmm. How great would it be to just have all your skis lined up just right lined there? Up, and then you could just strap them. Strap them in to this. Water okay. will drain right on here. It'll mm -hmm. just drain right out. This is all waterproof. This mm -hmm. is beat proof. I mean, this is everything. Yeah. You know, so Solus. You know, we went to a Winnebago convention they had in Savannah a couple months mm -hmm. ago, and they were so proud of everything that a Solus can do, how different it is from everything else, mm -hmm. how you can you can have this as a full-time RV or really as an adventure mm -hmm. type thing, and, and there's yeah. so many options. What I like about Winnebago, and I tell you this all the time, is that all the stuff you'll need, like your window treatments here and all that, Typically, it comes with it, right? I mean, check so that you've out. You got it. You're ready to go. You could buy this and then just get on the road. Just I mean, throw your stuff in it. Every and go. everything is here. So this yeah. is neat. You don't have to store it anywhere. It's mm -hmm. not ugly. It's not like in the way. Mm -hmm. And if you want to use it, you can. If you don't want to use it, you just keep it there and you, mm -hmm. you fold up. Just put it right inside there, just yeah, like you that. You can remove it if you want to. It's, yeah, uh, it's Velcroed it's, in. Yeah, it's connected there by Velcro. So you just mm -hmm. remove it if you don't want it. If you want to be able to see better, yeah. or you don't care. There, yeah. there's also a screen. So this screen is nice. To where if you are camping and you're somewhere that has bugs, you mm -hmm. just let this screen down, it zips, it unzips, mm -hmm. you can get in, you can get out, whatever. Hold on. There it is. There now you go. got a big yeah. screen in the back. Yeah. So easy you know, peasy. Lots, lots of flexibility, lots of options. Mm -hmm. Now this is the biggest solace. So on the solace P, what you're missing is from here back. So the solace oh, P okay. stops right there. Oh, I see. So, so you've this got is, this little extra room right yeah. here for stuff. And that's what the X stands for, I guess. Ah, this okay. is the X factor. The X factor. Do you want to do the bed while we're back here? Yeah, let me let me Show roll this up here real quick. Okay. You don't like getting out of uh, order normally, Hank. What's going on here? Uh, you know, we might as well stay in the flow, you know? Yeah, perfect. Might as well stay in the flow while we're back here. I so, do like the fact that this bed goes up uh, like a Murphy style, because then you could stand straight up here and do what you need to do. Yeah. Basically, so you yeah, you know, um, I am got six this foot tall, right here. lots of space. You Check that? out the storage right here. Mm -hmm. So this has some of the stuff that you would use at camp, so you wouldn't need that in there. Mm -hmm. But nice big storage compartment there. Yeah, that's cool. There's a lot of storage here. Storage here, storage here, there, down below. Nice drawer. Yeah, drawers and everything. Yeah. So that looks like that's a. T so does that table come down if you're standing up here working? It does. Oh, I like that. So. Oh, I see. Yeah. Some people want to put a chair down. right here. They can work right here. Yeah. Pretty nice. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay. Or if you're cooking, so imagine cooking right here, mm -hmm. and you're cooking here, preparing something, and then you have an extra cooking surface right here. Yeah. Let yeah. me turn these lights on, Hank. Yeah. There you go. There we go. All right. Yeah. So if you're cooking, this is extra. If you want to work and you want to look outside, you can do that. Yeah. Some people do podcasts and they have a little camera they want set up here. Yeah. You can actually do a cooking show from the road. <laughs> I can set nice. a little camera up there and it'll film me cooking yeah. grilled cheese sandwiches. So, someone, so if anyone wants to know, see, like I'm standing here and I'm standing straight up, but that's because they're like when you step up on this, and I'll show you guys. If you step up on that, obviously it's going to take you up another what? Like and I'm standing here, about six inches. Yeah. Same thing. I'm six foot and tall. You're fully good. But when you were standing here, you were a little closer, obviously, because yeah, because this I was a, on on the platform yeah, on the storage. So they so. do that to give you some some extra storage, which I think is nice. Yeah, because you really don't need to walk through there too much, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. So this comes up, goes down very yeah, easy. That's cool. I like yeah. that. Yeah. So this is oh, uh, Coleman Mac. Yep. Coleman AC. And here. You very quiet AC. Yep. It is a one ten AC. I'm gonna lower this Let's bed. See, this is coming down, coming down, coming down. So there you go. Boom. So this easy. is sleeping for two. Let me go back out here so you guys can see that. So, like I say all the time, six foot tall. Still room under here. There's room underneath. Mm -hmm. You know, we sold one of these to somebody that that said they can put an air mattress under there for their kids to sleep. 
Right, why not? <laughs> that would take a lot of trust. Uh, the dog, for sure. You could put the dog under there, yes. or your several dogs, cats, whatever. So, but yeah, you got a lot of room. Lots here. of space. I mean, two people can definitely sleep in this bed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Definitely sleep. I'm six foot tall. I got space here. Yeah, this doesn't even feet. have bump outs. Now, I think the reason why you don't have to do the bump outs with this ProMaster is because the ProMaster is wider, right? Than like yes. a Sprinter, let's say. ProMaster is wider. Yeah. The ProMaster is so. the widest of the three RVs. Yeah. The uh, Mercedes, cool. Transit, and mm -hmm. ProMaster. ProMaster is the widest. But I like this. I like this bed style. You know, mm -hmm. you can have the bed, lots of storage underneath yeah. still, so you don't have to sacrifice. Some people yeah. have special bins made up for mm -hmm. under here. Yeah. They have they have special things so that way they can just keep them there all the time. Yeah. And then the way these slats are, this is really good for the mattress and everything to oh, hope it breathe. Really comfortable. Breathe, yeah. That so, that go, so that goes very quick and easy. If Nick can do this, anyone could do it. That is a true statement, Hank. You know yeah, that. I mean, let's be honest about I that. I really don't have a lot of talents and skills, Hank. I don't know if I know <laughs> how to do anything besides talk. You're really good at this. Stick, stick to this. <laughs> All keep I know your, how to do. Keep your day job. <laughs> is uh, talk to people. Um, yeah. So that's cool. And there's storage behind you too. So there is. There's some good storage, storage here. here. Check that out. Well, yeah. Bam. Let me go up. Oh, oh yeah. So this is the curtain that hangs from the back there. Oh, I didn't, I didn't okay. want to open it because it's brand new. Yeah. But this yeah. is what hangs from the back right there. And then you've got these um, are shades for the front. Mm -hmm. So I like how it's a magnet it just sticks up there. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, the magnets on the AC here. Yeah, yeah very, very neat. Nice. Same yeah. thing here. So that goes up, sticks. You got shelves. You got storage in there. Mm -hmm. So really nice feature. Everything's real light and easy. Yeah. You know, it can be it can be hit, it can be moved, it can be, you know, beat up because let's not fake it. When you're skiing or you're mountain biking or you're kayaking mm -hmm. or paddle boarding, whatever it is you do in these, you're not always thinking about how precise and particular everything's gonna be. Yeah. There is gonna be things that get thrown and tossed and yeah. in here and this is a very durable coach winnebago makes this on purpose like this to be very durable mm -hmm. so i i like the space mm -hmm. the extra space behind the murphy bed yeah you got the murphy bed you got storage underneath storage mm -hmm. here mm -hmm. as as we walk through here in our reverse for every in our reverse we don't usually do it like this Hank. what are we gonna do man <laughs> i know it's, we're gonna mess up the uh the gravity of the planet What's, you know the planet's gonna start uh lola's the one that does time. that does all those breakdowns i don't, I don't know if she's gonna be able to hang with this yeah she'll she'll, she'll be fine Lola's uh, very smart <laughs> yeah so nice big storage yeah. cabinet here with all your owner's you manuals i, I you did. did yeah you showed that here i'll just get a close up for for everyone okay cool yeah so this is pretty neat this is the eco hot so this this fills the hot water tank so that way you know you can preheat it okay so it starts making noise it puts it in there it heats it up so that way it's ready for you to use it it's okay. nice that it doesn't have to heat up while you're using it so yeah you know i know i've i've mentioned this to you before hank but, but when my kids go to take a shower they turn the stinking shower on for 10 minutes before they, they get in it. yeah they and can't do just, that in the van just because they want it to get hot it's getting hot daddy and right. you know it's just you can't do that in the van. yeah I, know. I mean you're very limited yeah limited especially in a class b very limited water yeah. supply. You know, when the kids are running the water like that, I think it's noise camouflage. They're in there not really showering. They're just pretend they're on the phone and talking to their friends and not taking a. Sh For some reason, no, kids hate to take a shower. I don't, I don't understand it. <laughs> I asked yeah. my son the other day. We were gone for three or four days. I said, "Have you showered?" No, I forgot my underwear. I'm like, so you don't shower? You don't you have? I mean, what are you doing? You're 12 years old, dude. This is like your prime stinky Play video years. Games. This is your prime stinky <laughs> years. You've got to do something. <laughs> Play video games. So, Coleman yeah. Mock, this is the yeah. Quiet Series AC, uh -huh. so very neat. Let me go past you here. I'll oh. just get a close-up of the sink for everyone. And then here, um, if you want to get more info on the Solus, you can actually so, pause this and then use your camera. HowToSolus.com. Man, yep. they stole my tagline. Oh, <laughs> I think that's where you got it from. Oh, maybe that's why it was in my <laughs> yeah, head. Yeah, exactly. So, so, so Winnebago has done a great job with technology. Mm -hmm. They have an app for Solaces. They have an app for Revels. And mm -hmm. what it is, is it's a series of very high quality, educational, great mm -hmm. videos, unlike ours, that, mm -hmm. that <laughs> teach you how to actually use the RV right, right. and they don't just talk about it. Uh -huh. So there's a guy on there, like a two minute video on how to use the hot water. Yeah. There's a two minute video on how to use the yeah. stove. Two there's no opining. There is no opining at all. <laughs> and Which it, someone's going to complain about in this video. <laughs> and I will totally ignore the comment. No. So 
um, they have, it's called How To Solace. Uh -huh. So if you have any interest in one of these, I would recommend checking yeah. that out. It is, it's a great app, great, great mm -hmm. content there. What did, what did that guy, you were telling me someone said something about the last video I did? Oh, I know. They said I shouldn't put my hands in don't front of the camera. Don't put your hand in front of the talk. camera, hey. They don't want to see my hands. So we should never do that ever again. You know what I At all. all. I tell my kids, as long as this is a Schmidt house, the head Schmidt gets to do whatever he wants. Yeah. So the very King Schmidt. Very cool. Big a big bathroom. Yeah. Um, I I like that they give you this. You know, a lot of RVs people end up doing this, mm -hmm. but it doesn't come with it. Like you mentioned about mm -hmm. the window shades and all this. This is something that they actually give you, which is nice. Yeah. So and, and you know, one of the things too, we were talking outside about you know the cassette toilet yeah not everyone like so i use my 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 toilet i use the bathroom on there but not everyone people you know either stop at hotels yep. or whatever and don't use it so this can be storage right you can put a bunch of clothes oh, 100 percent. i've we've yeah. walked into people's rvs that i was in take on trade and they had three sets of golf clubs in here right and i'm like do you ever use your bathroom no we don't use the bathroom we use right. it for storage <laughs> exactly so, so, pretty cool so it's a nice bathroom though. towel rack you got a handheld shower thing there you have a little yep. thing there for shampoo okay. and okay. soap. So another one here. here. There is not. Oh, the no sink, sink is out here. here. Okay. Um, this is the, the cassette toilet thing. Nice big one too. It is. Okay. And it's, it's kind of high up, which is nice. It's not. It's not yeah. too low. So there again, six foot yeah. tall, two hundred and thirty-eight right, cool. pounds. Yeah. Some people I know have uh, the toilet in there. It's like made for babies. You know, little but, baby uh, toilet. Yeah, you know, you need a man this size. This is not a little baby toilet in here. So uh, Lola loves the the, the mirror, mirror and the door. Yeah, that kind of stuff that works for her. You know what I just did? I gotta suck in my gut. Oh, you know, I just I close this. I looked in the mirror and I checked my teeth to make sure there's no food in it. So you know. Okay. So is that what you just did? <laughs> well, that's not why I shut it, but it was there. So I figured I'd take advantage of Quick it, right? <laughs> I just ate. I mean, you always interrupt me at lunchtime. Yeah. You walk in but and my lunch. But you never have is, lunch ready for my me. My lunch is being delivered. You know, delivered. I'm coming on a Wednesday. Every other Wednesday when I get my hair cut. <laughs> Well, Thursday is the day we feed everybody. Yes, that's true. I was here last Thursday. <laughs> um, so, okay, storage. So we got storage under here, storage under there, mm -hmm. storage in here. There's storage everywhere. And this is a little, this is another little piece for cooking. Oh, cool. Yeah. Lots of cool little things there. So that's nice. Lock that back into place. Cool. Okay. I appreciate so that. This is very oh, unique. I love these. So not a lot of Class B vans have these real deal seats that in you them. can seat belt. Yes. So yes. this is a three. These are three point seat belts mm -hmm. with with a little. I mean, great seat belts. Nice space. Very comfortable table here that you can work with. That you mm -hmm. can use. You know, one of the things I like about Winnebago is they're going after, in a model like this, a different demographic mm -hmm. than than like their their traditional RVs. Mm -hmm. They're going after a demographic of people that work from their van, mm -hmm. that use it, that have young children. So working, young children, working remote, weekend warriors. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I recently sold one of these to somebody that, that was parents with two kids and they homeschool their kids. Uh -huh. So they said, we work remote, we homeschool our kids. So... We're hitting the road and we're you gonna can take the kids with you with this. We're and gonna you know, and, and as an do aside a, with a that, live history class. Right. <laughs> While you're out there on the road. Yeah. And one of the asides, so Nick and myself, obviously with Sunshine State RV, we've got a thing going on here. We do. You know, uh, where we're like officially uh, you know, representing you guys as ambassadors. Yeah. And one of the things I always tell people, go buy if you're into class B vans, buy it from somewhere where you could actually check out all a bunch of different vans to see what works for you. And the reason why I'm saying all of that is that sometimes I come in and people have bought things from other places and they trade and they're even bigger than this. And then they trade it in and they go down to this, right? Am I am I lying? Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> Happens all the time. Yeah, and I'm always surprised. I'm always like, wait, wait a second. What did they go to? No, they it's, went down to a so Solis funny. or yeah. It's so funny because someone, you know, someone came in this week and they traded mm -hmm. in like uh, you know something a little bigger, mm -hmm. and and I and they said we went to this dealership. We really wanted a van, mm -hmm. and they didn't have any. So the guy talked me into buying this. I'm like, what wow. kind of guy is that that can talk you into buying something that you don't want, especially something that's six figures? Yeah, and now you're losing on that when you when you yes when you find out that it doesn't work. You're for losing you. five of those figures. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so I it, recommend people come check you out 
and check out Sunshine State RVs for that and, reason. And I appreciate that. And I'll piggyback mm -hmm. on that. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. Hank and Lola bought a van from us two years ago. Mm -hmm. And for two years, we've been doing these videos. And now, in the last month or so, it's, it's turned to a partnership where mm -hmm. Hank and Lola are going to be traveling more, mm -hmm. representing us on the road, being a brand ambassador. Checking out some really cool vans. Checking out some cool vans. Be able to, like, actually take them off the lot and try yeah. them out a yep. little bit. Any, yeah. any van on this lot, Hank can take off and he can mm -hmm. camp in them and try them out. So it's going to be cool. Yeah. But, you know, we have them here. We are, we are are the largest class b dealer mm -hmm. in the state of florida so we have a hundred vans here you can choose from coachman mm -hmm. road trek winnebago you know american coach in chinook now oh all these different brands mm -hmm. dynamax that you can choose from you drive get a feel for it and yeah. that's why there's three solaces mm -hmm. the pocket the p and the px mm -hmm. there's three i mean three totally different people are going to buy these three solaces yeah we're trying to help people out right because um you know, the way we do these videos, normally people wouldn't do that, right? Because right. pretty much you're giving a lot of info, and some people are going to do the easy thing and buy it from a local place after they got the info from yeah, us. 100%. But we, we want to help people. We do. But, you know, genuinely, you guys can help yourselves by actually going somewhere. I don't know of anywhere other than Sunshine State RVs. Obviously, yeah. you guys pay me to say that. But where else would you go, though, that they ha that's all they do, Class B Vans? Right. Do you know? Uh, you probably wouldn't tell me, would you? No, there's nowhere else in the country that does this. Yeah. No one else does strictly uh -huh. and has this type of selection. Yeah. A hundred Class B vans in one place. Yeah. Nobody else does that. Nobody else has it. That's why we will pay for your airfare to come here to Gainesville to pick out a van. Yep. We will even deliver it for free for you. Once you That's find one crazy. somewhere, we will deliver it to your front door yeah. for free as soon as you want. I'm so, going to make you fly me in. I'm going to go to another place. Thank you. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm interrupting you. you but are. I just thought, like, the fact that this That's has, cool. this does have a lot of stuff in here. It does. The fact that it has jump seats and all that, and we haven't even gotten to everything yet. So, so what I love about mm -hmm. this is seat belts, mm -hmm. table, you're facing front. I can, mm -hmm. I can ride like this for hours. Like, mm -hmm. like truly, you know, prop my feet up. I yeah. can have a little box here if I wanted. I have the table. I can work on my laptop, yeah. iPad. The other day you were here, Scott Watson from Go Small, oh, yeah. Live Large was here. Mm -hmm. He has a Travato G, and it mm -hmm. has this same type of floor. He yeah. works from his full time. He, does, he yeah. lives in it, going on year yeah. five full time yep. in something just like this. Yeah, so, I looked at his videos before I bought my van from you. Did you really? To inspire me, because I was like, man, you know, my van's my, my studio, my office. So yeah. I looked at Scott's videos, and I was like, you know what? If Scott can do it, I can do it. <laughs> That's a, that is a true statement. So, there you go. Scott's a smart dude. Yeah, so you're spinning everything around? I am. I'm trying to get it to where this will spin a little easier for me. How's this? There we go. There you go. So now I can sit here. All right. And hang out. Let me get it towards have dinner. More. So if you guys see these straps, like you don't want to see my hands. In front oh yeah, of we haven't even we, popped the top we'll, we'll up. Go to the pop top here. Holy in a cow! I forgot about that. <laughs> so yeah, when you do swivel, both mm -hmm. these swivel. You got the front here. You got this. Mm -hmm. This is a very comfortable area. Yeah. So all four people in the family could actually sit here yeah. and uh, eat and talk to each other. 100%. There's yeah, plugs nice. down there. USB ports, yep. 110, cigarette lighters, whatever it is you need. There's a little compartment down mm -hmm. here. So yeah, very, storage. Very cool. This plugs all over this van. We will. We'll get to the. We'll probably get to the fridge last. <laughs> yeah, because as, it's it is last on the way. As we work our way out here, uh, there's opening window over there, and you've got the window treatments yeah. around it. Isn't that cool? Do. So um, let's open this up without yeah. further ado. I, let's do that. Hank, I I think I forgot about this. <laughs> this is the big thing that everyone wants to see. This is the big deal. Yeah. So you're just unlocking. I'm unlocking. Did you time that? Mm -hmm. 10 seconds. Time it. Oh. Boom, there you yeah. go. And, and now we're in business. Up. And outside, now you got. Oh, I got adjust to the light. Now you got a pop top out here. Look at that. Pop top awesomeness out here. So, so very cool. Are you going up there? You can take this and not up uh, here. show the folks what's going on up there. So, they can so see it. check this out. So, to start with, you have plugs up here there's a light somewhere mm -hmm. so there's plugs here so you got usb ports you got a cigarette lighter for a 12 volt fan you got usb ports there the ladder does go here um there's a yeah. big screen this here. is important for you right here adult who's the adult in this relationship adult supervision between me and you neither one of us <laughs> and neither so neither one of us check out how big this is i mean this is huge um, there is a little fan there for it's some huge. fresh air. That's nice. That's cool. Yeah, that's, um, cool. that's nice that there unzips Yeah, this side here unzips for fresh air 
Um, and then you have more of everything. I recommend you take out the ladder. <laughs> Is that what you recommend? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's see. How much stuff do you break and then uh, your guys have to deal with that? When All you, <laughs> the time. You break that thing. And now they're like, oh no, we got to... Well, you know, part of me still feels like I'm 16 and I can just hop uh -huh. around everywhere I go. Uh-huh. And then the next day I don't feel very 16 anymore. Okay. Oh, so this is a two-part ladder. Yeah. It's interesting. Cool. Very neat, right? I've seen some collapsible ones. Woo! There you go. And then you can lock it. What? Lock it in. What's oh, that? Yeah. So let's put it right here. Cool. Look at that technology. Look at that. Look at you. Ready? Using technology. I'm going in. Actually climbing up there. You could do the thing right here. I can sit here and look out the window. There you go. <laughs> oh, I can't lift my feet though, like the people do on Instagram. <laughs> no. I don't know so, how they do it. I don't need that. That's digital. So this this is here. Uh -huh. You got a screen there. You got a screen there. That's cool. Power here. So if you want to charge your phone at yeah. night, so the power is right there. Mm -hmm. I don't know what this. Does. And there's a oh. Uh, fit that line. I don't know what that does. Yeah. I wonder if this is like an emergency thing. If I pull this, if it just rips off and flies away like a parachute. Uh, yeah, I don't think we want to find out. Why not? That'd be cool. I'm going to say we don't find out. <laughs> not today. What that is all about. Yeah. But so, yeah, cool. Lots of room up here. Lots of room. So if you Two have kids down... can ease the... My kids would be begging to sleep up here. Yeah. They would all want to sleep. All four of them want yeah. to sleep somehow up here. Yeah, this is cool. All right, cool. Let's, let's, keep, let's keep working our way backwards here. <laughs> Okay, so if you move this flap up, you'll see that you still get a pizza oven right here. So you can still store a bunch of stuff up here if you want to. That's cool. And then obviously we've got the front that we didn't talk about yet. But um, so this is a completely new chassis. Uh, the front end is new. Yes. And then everything inside is new. This is the 2023 chassis that has all of the new cool things that that ProMaster offers. Mm -hmm. Um, look at that, look how easy that is to swivel. Lots of space. Let's start this bad boy up. Push to start. So, very unique. I think, for, look at that, look, that looks good there. Look at that. that does look good. Cool. The cool. So this is almost like a commercial, you know, there's a Winnebago right outside. Oh, yeah. well, this you see inside the door. Remember, that's the P that we were just talking yeah. about. Yeah. So, what's cool about this new chassis is it is in line with what you would expect on like a high-end car, a nicer, newer, you know, 10-inch screen, you know, all digital press stuff, USB, USC ports, um, nice, nice digital, um, what's that called? Digital dash, dash yeah. digital dash there, push button yeah. start. Drives really well, I think. Oh yeah, um, you, you drove a, a Winnebago. Yeah. 2023 with the new chassis, yeah, new absolutely. everything. Absolutely, that video is coming up soon. Soon. Did you do it after you, a few months ago? Yeah, yeah, we, we did that video a couple of months ago. It's coming, Nick. This is a it's char way. a charging port, so you can uh, put your phone there, uh -huh. and it and it charges it uh, not magnetically, it charges it Induction. through osmosis. Induction. Reverse osmosis. Induction charging. Induction charging. Yeah. I think it's reverse osmosis. Uh, yeah. Sometimes it feels like that, but it's good. This is easy to connect. It's got Apple CarPlay, all that really cool. It does. Stuff with Touch it. screen. Mm -hmm. It's X out of there. We have. There's a lot of room over there. Here. I really like this design. You know, you can see the influence, like an Italian satellite radio. Influence. You got navigation. Mm -hmm. You got these really cool cameras everywhere. Oh, there it is, navigation. Yep. There's lots of cool options. Nine speed mm -hmm. transmission, the blind spot assist, mm -hmm. the crosswind detection, the post collision braking. Post collision. So after you collide. After you collide, you don't continue breaks. the truck. Because you, you might collide be conscious. And you press the and it breaks for you, yeah. which in my mind I want pre-collision braking. I'm sure it has that. I'm but sure it has it too. Afterwards too, you know, uh, but that's I want important. pre yeah. yes, after and before and during <laughs> and all yeah. of that. So you know, Very cool. Easy to drive. These so, are really easy to drive, I can tell you that. You know what's cool, Hank, is that I would say the Pocket, the P, the PX, all mm -hmm. three of these Solaces, great lineup. They are what Winnebago would call like a, I don't want to say entry level, but like beginner mm -hmm. to where no one, I mean, I mean a lot of people aren't full timing in these. Mm -hmm. You know, they are a little more 
the basic when it mm -hmm. comes to what they offer because mm -hmm. they want to make it simple for you. Right. But what's cool is this chassis is not basic. Mm -hmm. This chassis is not entry level. This has everything that ProMaster offers. So you're mm -hmm. comfortable, you're safe, great gas mileage, 20 miles to the gallon, mm -hmm. you know, great size, 17 feet, 19 foot or 20 foot like this one. You know, lots of features. Yeah, front wheel drive. Price wise, these are about as much as a high end SUV right now. Okay. You know, I mean, the the pocket's well under 100 grand. The P is definitely under 100 grand. And this is going to be a little more with the pop top, the generator, the air conditioner, and, you're getting a and lot all that. This, yeah. But but you're getting a lot for your money. Mm -hmm. I mean, you really are getting a lot for is your money. Is there any added cost for the color on this one? Um, there is not. Okay. I don't think. Yeah. Maybe a thousand bucks. I got no okay. I don't remember. Yeah. There's okay. usually a sheet somewhere that says it. All right. But I know people always ask about pricing, pricing, financing, financing. You know, someone asked in the last mm -hmm. video about financing. Yeah, I mean, you could do 20 year financing mm -hmm. with average interest rates mm -hmm. and, you know, put 10% down. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's that's a, about the same as a car payment. Yeah. You know, normal car payment, you can get all this RV that we just mm -hmm. went through, all of it. And you could use this as your as a daily driver, I think. I had somebody to. yesterday trade in a Toyota Prius for a Coachman Nova and use it as, and they're using it as their daily driver. Daily driver. Daily driver. <laughs> I told them that, that the Nova is not going to get quite as good a gas mileage as the Prius. Not as a Prius, but you know, but congratulations, but you'll get more adventures though. They were happy. They were happy to, yeah. happy to have it. Happy Believe it or not, it. there's people who live out of their Prius, but yeah, in a Nova, you're way better off. You're way better off. Yeah, there's people of. with uh, YouTube channels about that. Oh really? So yes. Huh. So Which you know, funny. Yeah. One, of the, one of the things I did get excited about, Hank, when this came in was this unique color. Mm -hmm. I've always been someone that likes a color like this, that mm -hmm. likes something that stands out, looks different. Yeah. You know, yeah, very, pops. my, uh, the minivan that me and my wife drive is yellow with black stripes on it, kind of like a, uh, um, um, a cheetah. Should I look around the parking lot? And so see my wife it? drives the minivan. Oh, I, sure, 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 sure. I take the city bus into work. Yeah, right. Okay. As we're going in reverse here, here's the fridge. There you go. Remember that Chinook fridge that went on, that opened up on both sides? Yeah. I'm still kind of, my mind's that still kind of blown about awesome that. awesome here, yeah. Pretty cool, so right? So here we go. Yeah, there's a little ice tray. A little freezer, there. ice tray, fridge. Yeah, nice. Okay, cool. So and I like the location. Got power, you got switches here so you can turn everything on and yep. off. 12 volt fan, 12 volt right. thing, USB, light yeah. switches here. There's also, there's a 110 plug right yeah. there. Yeah. Check that out. That's another one that you can grab. So is that, uh, oh, you can put a hose, you can connect a hose up to that. Yeah, remember, so remember you can go sideways. our handy dandy hose. Yeah. Connect it right here, well, bam. And now I can spray you off before you get into my RV. Oh, nice. Your dogs, if your dogs yeah. are coming in, you spray their feet off. Right. Your kids, you know, kids are, are sometimes dirtier than dogs. Right, right. I don't know, dogs to kids, I don't know. Depends on what kind of a kid or dog you have. That is a true um, And you know what we didn't go into, we didn't show the stove. Did yeah, we, did yeah. we lift that up? We did. Gas stove. I can't remember. Okay, there you go. So we've got that just in case so we didn't do it. There is solar. So people always ask about power sources. So this has an Onan generator. It mm -hmm. and it has solar panels on the roof. Oh, um, so like how this is up, I should be able to go there and see the solar panels. You right? should be able to. Yeah, yeah, let's see. Let's take a look. And then we'll get a we'll get a cool yeah. look at the uh, It also has the, uh, the outside truma. of this. I don't know if we can actually see that high. Probably not. Oh yeah, come here. Oh, okay. You gotta go up. There you go. Oh my gosh, it is so many color. <laughs> yeah, I see this. See it's got the flexible panels. Can you see it? There you go. Yeah, How's it's that? got flexible panels on it. Okay, cool. But this is a great color, man. This looks great. Spitfire orange. This looks so good. Big fan. So, so you know what people are doing these days is they're putting these backs on here, mm -hmm. mounting things to it, mm -hmm. tr tracks there. I mean the the possibilities are endless of stuff you can put on any any of these soulless ones, mm -hmm. any of them, 17 foot, 19 foot, or 20 foot, mm -hmm. any of these. But you know what? I think Winnebago hit a home run, Hank, when they came out with the soulless line. I remember when they first told me about it, I was like, eh, that's not our typical demographic. Eh, that's no, not exactly what we do. Right. And then we got the first one, and then the and then the you know it just kind of. Kind of you kept guys, going. What, like we said in the beginning, that these are very popular very, overall selling. Very you guys popular. Find that true, very true popular. Here? People love people love the flexibility. Mm -hmm. They love the flexibility of being able to use them for so many different things. They love them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Let's go up front. Since we're doing this kind of weird, I don't know how we wound up in the back, but 
You just kind of stop there. Yeah. There you go. There's the full pop top. All right, cool. Look at that. All right, so here, before we wrap up, I want to take the opportunity to remind you guys, Ocala RV Show is coming up. Ocala RV Show, March yeah. 2nd through the 5th, and mm -hmm. that is going to be in Ocala. We'll have 35 to 40 brand new Class Bs there. Um, every single type of Class B in the world, we mm -hmm. will have there in Ocala, one place outside in the beautiful fresh air of Ocala in right. the Horse Park. And there's a uh, Coachman Class there's B. There's a Coachman Class B Beyond Rally. There'll yeah. be about 70 coachman class b's there at mm -hmm. the rally in ocala yeah me included so you included we're sponsored have we got you did you sign up no <laughs> you didn't sign up no i don't need to oh my god Hank. we'll see you we should automatically space. put a spot the, in there the coachman me. class b rally has been sold out for i'm about taking a spot 11 and a half months we open registration uh -huh. the day after it ends right. and then uh -huh. it fills up within an hour right right so. and and so there might not be a spot but we'll let you come in and eat uh -huh. and stuff and right. then the next yeah. week pretty cool uh -huh. um midwest automotive american coach their Facebook group is doing another rally in Ocala. So we yeah. about 70 of those so, fans there. So people who own American Coach American Coach is in the Midwest. They can go yeah. there. And I'll be there around. for that, too. I'll just be borrowing a van from you. You do have a spot for that one. Yes. I made sure of it. I'm looking I'm looking forward to that. That's going to be fun. That's your birthday weekend. Hey? Hanging out. Yes, it is. That That's going to be my birthday weekend there. Yes. So I hope you have nice gifts ready for me. Always. always. Yes, there you go. No minivans. <laughs> <laughs> cool stuff about mm -hmm. what we do here at Sunshine State yeah. RVs mm -hmm. is our Sunshine State Elite Club. And mm -hmm. I know we talk about this a lot and I kind of sprinkle it throughout the mm -hmm. video, but you know, the highlights are the walkthrough, the two nights camping, and then guaranteed service appointment within five days. Mm -hmm. So you call us within five days, guaranteed to get you in and get you service here at Sunshine State RVs. And then the whole time you own the coach, we give you tech support over the phone. So the whole time you own it, you call us and you say, I can't get my fridge cold. And we give you some little things to do to kind of help you through that. I can't get my water hot. We kind of help you through that. So tech support the whole time you own your coach. So just some cool things that we try to do because we know I, not everybody's close to us and yeah. the people are close to us. We'll go pick your RV up. We'll bring it here for service. Mm -hmm. So that's all from buying from us. We kind of give you all that type of treatment. But awesome. we started the week after you bought your RV, Hank. Yes, I know. Sorry, I sorry that we can't let you in the program. <laughs> yeah, if I called up, they're like, no, we can't help you. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, uh, they, don't, they don't actually do that. So uh, sometimes I even do get some, like, I don't get the calls from the people. But if it's some trouble I've created before, someone asks me like, oh yeah, remember when you did that thing? What did you do? Yeah, How'd you get out of that? You, you're our tech support line. <laughs> Hank, strange your cell phone numbers, 352. No, no, don't do oh. it. <laughs> don't do it. All right, listen, yeah, Nick, we got to go suddenly. Awesome. Sudden, yeah, we <laughs> exactly. got to get out of here. Exactly. <laughs> Thanks a lot for this tour. This was really cool. Good. I hope I hope folks enjoyed this. How to Solus. A absolutely, how to Solus. Everything you wanted to know about the Solus here, this one is here and available, right? All Not sold yet? More. Okay, they're all available. All right, Nick, we're out of here. We'll Thank see you. you guys. We'll see you guys at the Ocala RV show or in the next video. There we go. We're out. Peace.